What's up guys, welcome to day four of becoming a better hair cutter in seven days. In this portion of the masterclass, what I really wanna focus on is understanding your horizontal and vertical line. Those two things are what make up every single haircut. So when you think about it, haircutting is actually pretty simple if you understand that aspect. So whenever I'm explaining the horizontal and vertical line, there's one thing that I like to try to stress is the fact that when you are working with the horizontal line, you can really not see what that looks like when I go like this. You can't really see that when you're looking at me vertically, right? Vertically, you can see everything I'm doing. You can see this comb moving up and down. When you look at this horizontally, it's a lot harder to see exactly what I'm doing when you're looking at me from straight ahead. When you look overhead, you can see exactly where I'm going horizontally. You can see the shape that I'm creating. If I'm creating a square shape, a triangular shape or a round shape, all of that can be seen from the top down. So think about that when you're cutting hair. The top down is the horizontal shape of the haircut and then straight on when you're looking straight onto the face, that's the vertical line that you're creating. Are you removing weight or are you keeping weight? Let's break this down a little bit further. A round shape is gonna open up the face. Anytime I want layers that come off the face, I wanna open up facial features. We talked about the face shapes uh, on day three. So anytime I wanna open up the face, accentuate those facial features, um, I'm gonna cut an open shape. Anytime I wanna close off, cut off some of those corners in the face shape, I'm gonna cut a closed shape. And then balance shape is just gonna keep everything nice and balanced throughout the haircut. Balance is gonna be an even line creating that square silhouette from the top down. Now, when we look at the vertical, there's only a few different things we can do. We can cut a one length haircut. We can cut a graduated haircut, which is gonna build weight. And then we can remove weight by layering a haircut. So when you look at all those things, you combine all those things together, you say, do I wanna cut an open haircut to open up the face? And do I want that haircut to have layers? Then I'm gonna layer it. Do I wanna open up the face and have a graduation? I can do that as well. Or open up the face and have it more of a one length. So you can create different combinations of haircuts just understanding those two different things, your horizontal line and your vertical line. So my challenge to you for day four is to really just break down every haircut that you get in the chair. Look at, is that haircut an open haircut? Is it a balanced haircut? Is it a closed haircut? When you look at it from a horizontal line, then look at it, is it layered or graduated? Once you start understanding those two things, like I said, you'll understand every single haircut that comes in and you'll know exactly what to do when you get that client in the chair. All right, so tomorrow for day five, we're gonna work on stationary and traveling guides. I'm gonna show you guys the differences. We're gonna really break it down. So see you tomorrow.